Hi, I'm Sarah Levin, the Artful Anchor. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And during November, I was able to attend the onstage event for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And so I already have my mini catalog in hand that will be live from January through June 2021. And one of the products that I was able to get early was the Dandy Garden Suite. And this is one of the pieces from the Dandy Garden uh, designer paper uh, that's part of that suite. And I could not wait to use this. I love the colors and the movement in this. If you would like to see the other 23 patterns in this stack of designer paper, you can see my unboxing video. Now for today's card, we're going to be using the Dragonfly Garden Bundle, which is this great stamp set with the dragonflies and the flowers and our sentiment, and then this um, group of butterflies here. And then there's the dragonflies punch that does the large dragonfly and a small dragonfly. So let's get started. Just a little bit of stamping with today's card. I've got Mossy Meadow ink and a sentiment and my piece of very vanilla. And let's tap that on there. Now the print in this sentiment is very fine, so you don't want to press down hard and make the letters squish out. So, But I am giving it a little rub across the top so that we get good contact. And then I want to cut this out with one of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And so with the magic of television, I've already got this cut. And as you'll see, we've got a nice shape and then the stitching around the edge from that die. Next, I've got my card base, thick, very vanilla, and this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and I've got a strip of that Dandy Garden designer paper, and it is cut to four inches wide, and we're just going to accent the inside of our card with it and give it the same kind of border that we'd give a layer on the outside. So just right down here at the bottom. Let's close that up. And then I've got a panel of terracotta tile and more of that designer paper. And we're just going to layer that up. The terracotta tile is cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And your designer paper is cut at four by five and a quarter. And it gives us just a nice narrow mat there. And that pumps up that Calypso coral here in the dragonflies. And then we're just going to adhere that straight to our card base with the multi-purpose glue. Put this down and again we get another little narrow mat of the very vanilla peeking out. Next I've got a piece of crumb cake that I've cut with one of the ornate layers dies and I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of this piece. So we'll just pop three on here. Oops. Have an extra that volunteered. This is a quick and easy card. Just want to straighten that up on my grid paper. Now grid paper is available in my Stampin' Up! store. Okay. And then I've got a piece of one of the um, square vellum doilies. I've cut this in half, and I'm just going to dot on a little bit 
of adhesive here in kind of the center section and I'm putting it not quite all the way to the end there. So let's push this down and dot it on and I've got my sentiment here that I need to add dimensionals to the back. So before I, okay, just wanted to check the fit there. And I, okay, and then we're going to take some of this Mossy Meadow braided trim that is part of the Dandy Garden Suite in that mini catalog. And I just want to cut off a length of this. And we're going to pull it so that we get even more texture from it. There we go. Do the same thing over on this end. Now if you would like to get your hands on these products early, during December, demonstrators can order from the mini catalog and receive celebration items. And I'd love to have you join my team. You can find a link for that in the description below. And you can also find a link if you prefer to wait until January to get these products. Um, you can find a link to request uh, a catalog if you're in the United States and would like to shop in my store. Okay, so let's just put this down here. And we're just going to splay that just a little bit more. And we'll put our sentiment on. Pull off all of my little dimensional backings here. Make sure I'm getting that straight. And now I'm going to take my take your pick tool. I want to give this a little bit of movement and take another glue dot and we're just going to push this up a little bit and put that on and then the same thing over here. Just moving this on the glue dot that's there and I'll put another one here at the end to hold this in place. Oops. Make sure that we keep that nice and spread out. That's part of the joy of this is having that spread on the, the fibers. Gives it a nice textured look. And then let's take our dragonfly punch. And I'm going to take a scrap of the gold foil and punch. And we're going to use that dragonfly as an accent on our card. So let's pull out my multi-purpose glue again and add glue here on just two of the wings. That's a little thick. And I just want to put him right down here. And then we're going to add a final accent with some basic pearls. And we've got a quick and easy card here. I'm using the largest pearls down in here. And then we're going to use another large pearl up here. And there we go with our Dragonfly Garden card. Thanks for stopping in today. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Linker of theartfullinker.com. You can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye.